What is a fragon? The fragon's eye is the fragon is the oldest document on the planet and it's crystallized over time and if you look at it it's most similar to uh, Babylonian cuneiform and so we designed a language that was kind of like cuneiform we haven't released description of it yet but there's a lot of that in the catacombs right a lot of the ancient cave art and becoming other levels of languages because ultimately they were way more sophisticated in their history. Mm -hmm. This is this is the thing, right? The thing we don't know yet is the Mudakins, a whole entirely different history like we would think of as Atlantis. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And so, and so it's just a myth that almost no one knows anymore, but the keepers know the truth. And so the Fragon's Eye is a, it was the original clay tablet. It was kind of like the, for lack of a better word, it would be kind of like a Ten Commandments. And it documented something that was important to them. But it's so old that it formed inside of crystal. And then eventually f was found. And then it was polished. And so that's why, A, it's shaped like an egg because it's like the, the symbolic context of that is it's shaped a bit like an egg because it's the beginning of something new once it gets replayed. And so it has this history on it. And um, in, in the histories of, what we say the schools of cultism, witchcraft, sorcery, through time, objects become sigils. There's, there's uh, some, some people would say, if you find these types of objects, you need to burn them, right? Mm -hmm. Like this is big in, in the Middle East, because mm -hmm. uh, people, uh, you know, it's big in Africa, it's big in the Middle East. I think it's, it's big in Europe. If you go to the Ivy League schools, you'll find books on witchcraft in the month. You'll find magazines on witchcraft and these types of things at the school bookstore, mm -hmm. almost verbatim. Go to Yale, go to UConn, go to Harvard. You'd be surprised what the, what the Ivy League has an appetite for. And so um, to me, I wanted to have that this, this sacred relic of the oldest record ever written on the planet and it held this criti critical information. And I'm thinking of it a little bit like the tablets of Toth, mm -hmm. is it, the emerald tablets of Toth, and which is uh, kind of a mystical thing in its own right. And that it had power. And that power might be like a holy grail. Mm -hmm. and, when, and so it could be used as a key, but only to those that could bring it back. And so as a trial, the Fragon's Eye which is this document in a clay tablet written who knows how long ago, maybe hundreds of thousands of years ago. And inside it, it, it becomes the egg because it's really a seed of a new beginning when it touches back into the desk, into the, the mantle where Abe is putting his hands. And so it's another trial for him. That's his trial in this game is he needs to return to Fragon's Eye. And in returning that, then it unlocks the memories that he gets to witness, but he needed both of the tattoos mm -hmm. as they were in the stone and like, huh, those are like, what's on my hand, duh, right? Like, okay, but he's missing that object for the center. And and he doesn't yet really realize that the face in the, in the uh, obelisk is him. And so the one with the stitches would be this forecast of one to come, mm -hmm. this prophecy of one to come. And somehow, Somehow on this planet, there are people that have the ability to know things that they absolutely should not know. Mm -hmm. And I've met some of these people at different times. I've met people that we could call them psychics, but they had a bit, it, it, the heads of state of different nations would come to these people. I mean, no shit in modern contemporary time. I was in a guy's house. I won't say who he was, but he was a really famous one of these people in the Hollywood Hills. And his walls were covered with photographs of him with heads of every major organization in the world. And it wasn't because he was seeking them out. They were seeking him out. And when you have someone that can tell you things that they shouldn't be able to know, and this is before the internet, before the, sometimes you'll meet people like that. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like uh, near-death experiences. Mm -hmm. They happen 
to millions of people throughout the world, but we're learning more about it today because before they were just told they were hallucinating. And then we find out something else is going on and through testimonies, right? So the fragrance eye retains some power and it's been encased for so long, but it's the original truth. And so, it, and so therefore it has an energetic key quality. And so a certain frequency, it's kind of like a, a, a fingerprint uniquely identify someone or their dna or their retina uniquely identify someone well the the altar that abe puts his hands into and sits the fragrance eye into it won't trigger unless you've been through this experience you've been through this experience and you've been through the one that brings the fragrance eye mm -hmm. now you have the key because you've proven you're worthy of learning it and if you had the stitch, if you didn't have the stitches, you never would have been here in the first time. And that's all the dead bodies that you see in the uh, in the deep where the sleeches live. Yeah. Ooh. Because those are all the ones who tried to do it before. It's kind of like the sword in the stone. You know, lots have tried, but the price for trying for this is you die. You don't get to come back. It's a one-way street. And if you can beat the sleeches. And then get the out uh, the fragrance eye and return with it. Then that's the next tattoo. So in the process of that, that's how Abe got his chest tattoo. And in the original Exodus, you know, we we had to do other things because we we're on a different time and budget. <laughs> you, know, you 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 figure out a way, even though it's not necessarily what you wanted to say. And uh, so in Soulstorm, I was like, I want to go back to this core idea, and I want to revisit that. And then we, you know there's there's i can't say it was with 100 percent clarity but through the course of production and working with creative people we go well here's the intent you know how do we do it but when abe looks at it he's just it's the oldest written relic on oddwell and it's a key that'll get you killed if 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 you weren't the one who was meant to pick it up <gasps> i love that that's great that's great see guys lord is just lord <laughs> lord landing 